I just want to let you all know that Danny Elfman has not taken me up on my offer from the last music news video. I think he's playing hard to get. Good evening, citizens of the world. My name is Stiff Rockwood, and this is Jizz News, coming to you from our parent company at the Spunk Network, where we cover it all and give it to you hard and quick. This is Last Month in Music News, where we bring you sort of current music news from last month to distract you from your miserable lives. It's always the people that don't want it that get it. Always a bridesmaid. We start the broadcast off with Lizzo. Three of Lizzo's dancers filed a lawsuit against her for sexual harassment and fostering a hostile work environment. One of the accusations is that Lizzo called a health meeting and criticized one of the girls for weight gain. This comes after Lizzo has publicly promoted body positivity and is known for being a big girl herself. In Lizzo's defense, pre-concert catering that she provides accounts for 75% of her total budget. She said, Bitches need to eat, but maybe lay off of your 379th chicken McNugget. Oh, and have a Diet Coke with it. Cardi B had a police report filed against her for throwing her microphone at an audience member after they threw their drink at Cardi. The charges were ultimately dropped, but Cardi B apologized and said that having a stream of fluid shooting at her gave her PTSD flashbacks of the VIP room when she used to be a stripper. A painting of Harry Styles that was created by British artist David Hockney will be displayed at the National Portrait Gallery in London alongside other great works that look like they were painted by a cross-eyed child. Child. Maybe Hockney can paint himself some prescription glasses that actually work. I for one don't think Hockney captured the aura of Harry's third nipple correctly. For those that didn't hear, Sinead O'Connor, famed singer of the song Nothing Compares to You, passed away last month. The good news is that her music streaming has risen by 2,885% since her death. The bad news is that the Catholic Church said, hold my beer, if you know what I mean. Lin-Manuel Miranda is slated to do a stage musical adaptation of the 1965 novel The Warriors that was turned into the very popular 1979 movie. Miranda said he wants to add to the legacy of the novel and movie with the ultimate goal of making the small amount of people that aren't already sick of him into believers. Loved the song Scuttlebutt and the Little Mermaid. It definitely didn't make me want to run my head through a lawnmower. A replica of Kanye West's childhood home is being put up for auction in October. The 900 square foot house is currently broken down into pieces in a Chicago warehouse, but the winning bidder can have it put back together for a fee. The production company selling the house went with the selling point that you can fit all 50 of Kanye's personalities in there at once, although it's a tight fit. Corey Taylor, frontman of the heavy metal band Slipknot, said that a lot of people in Iowa are ashamed that the band is from there. Those in question in Iowa said that they have a much more rich culture that they're proud of that comes from Iowa, including corn, serial killer John Wayne Gacy, and f***ing your own cousin. DJ Khaled spoke words of wisdom in the trailer for his new album, saying, Success ain't easy. You gotta want it so bad that you're willing to put everything on the line, even if you gotta risk your own life. I'm pretty sure producing songs in an air-conditioned studio isn't risking shit. From the looks of it, the only thing he's risking with that waistline is a heart attack. He's risking the disappointment of missing a meal or two. He's risking having his shirt manufacturer run out of material. He's risking wearing out the bottom of his sneakers really quickly. He's risking using more gas for his car per pound. I can go all day. But I won't because this brings us to our wonderful sponsors. There's only one this month because I run this shit and I couldn't think of anything. Renowned British artist David Hockney's Music Celebrity Collection. Hang them around the house as a reminder that not only do the British have a bad dental care system, but that they also have crappy vision care as well. Just a stupid joke, people. Don't get crazy. I make fun of Americans way more anyway. Now I'd like to document a story on the who gives a shit file. Yes, I'm giving it attention, but who gives a shit anyway? Justin Timberlake interrupted his wife Jessica Beale during one of her intense ab workouts recently while she was recording it. I don't care about your perfect marriage or your wife's perfect perfect body and abs. This is not newsworthy. The man stepped on her abs with the bottom of his dirty sneaker and she turned to him and giggled like he tickled her bunghole. To that I say, who gives a shit?
Travis Scott did a concert in Rome where 60 people got injured. If you remember, Travis Scott performed at the Astro World Music Festival back in 2021, where 10 people died during his set. The Ukrainian army took notice and instantly recruited him to perform concerts all across Russia. Nick Jonas fell through a hole on stage while performing at a concert. He addressed the crowd and told them he's fine and that he's had lots of experience and has survived bigger holes while touring with the Jonas Brothers. Nothing but classic jokes here baby <sighs> speaking about classy Britney Spears and Sam Ashgari are getting divorced I mean who saw that coming <coughs> Sam claims that Britney was cheating on him right after they got married something seems crazy here and for once it's not Britney way to play the long game Sam speaking of Britney a musical based off of her songs in Disney animations and princesses called once Upon a One More Time has ended its run at the Marquee Theater in New York City. It only lasted three months, or as Britney would call it, a pretty good marriage. Madonna's Celebration Tour tickets are on sale for her rescheduled shows after recovering from a severe bacterial infection where she was hospitalized for several days in the ICU. All concerts will start before 12 noon, and each purchase comes with your very own signed box of the pens and a coupon for a cup of delicious applesauce. I can't wait to see her slide that old cooter all over the stage like when she was much closer to actually being like a virgin. Fire Festival 2 tickets are on sale. If you remember, it's the scam music festival that's run by fraudster Billy McFarland. Check it out in the video I did here on iconic moments in pop music history. The first 100 pre-sale tickets are going for $499. The price is set to rise with the final pre-sale tier going for $7,999. The festival still has no lineup of performers or a location yet. Buying tickets is the perfect opportunity to show people who are on the fence that aren't sure if you're a moron or not that you are indeed a moron. Scotland is said to have their first ever vinyl pressing plant by the end of the year being built called Seabass Vinyl. Pretty soon Scotland said they're also going to incorporate this new thing called the internet into their society as they heard it's great for business promotion. The band Killswitch Engage was involved in a tour bus accident where they collided with an elk. The driver was able to take a picture of the giant moose knuckle that went crashing through the tour bus window. The giant moose knuckle is cousin to the somewhat smaller camel toe well folks that's all the news for now you will like this video comment down below and subscribe i'm stiff rockwood and this is jizz news you know what i always say <laughs> who gives a shit until next time still can't get that shit right I'm selling tickets for my own music festival, folks. It's called the You're a Dumb F if you buy tickets from this criminal music festival. Tickets start at $1,000 and you get a free subscription to a fraud protection service of your choice. Not that it's gonna matter.